This is Sandra Miller with a persuasive speech. Reasons we should offer on-site childcare to our employees. Did you know that employees supported childcare dates as far back as the Civil War? Well, according to a child care benefits research firm, Burette and Associates, in an article by Lee McIntyre, it does. Studies show that women who sewed soldiers' clothing in the war were offered on-site child care. And then 80 years later, during World War II, worksite child care was also made available to those women who worked in the shipyards of Portland, Oregon. As women with young children began to enter the workforce in the 1970s, the concept of on-site child care grew and spread to governments and hospitals like ours. In an article called Effective Work-Life Balance Support for Various Household Structures, it states that today's workforce encompasses a wide variety of employees with specific needs and resources when it comes to balancing work and life roles including things like flexibility in work schedules and parental duties. In order for our hospital to compete for quality and competent health care workers, we, this organization needs to begin the process of implementing an on-site child care facility to assist with those specific needs and resources. In doing this, our hospital certainly will reap the benefits in that this on-site child care facility will aid in recruitment and retention. It will drastically cut out absenteeism of those employees with children. And it will greatly boost worker morale. All those points are very important. But recruitment and retention, I believe, is the most important. I've known some really good lab technicians in this hospital that were either unable to return to work post maternity leave or unable to continue work because of lack of child care. This on-site center for our children would keep those great employees. According to the book by Rosin, Working Women Opposing Viewpoints, this type of implementation would improve our corporate image because it is such a valuable asset. It would encourage those good workers to stay and it would encourage other quality workers to look in our direction for employment. In a journal, journal article by Houston and Marx, in the beginning of the 21st century, half of all women with preschool children were employed, but only a third of those women were unable to return to work after maternity leave due to lack of support in the workplace. <clears throat> Next to recruiting and retaining quality employees, absenteeism is a huge problem in the workplace. In an article by Maynard and Blaine, it states that historically speaking, women have been responsible for the majority of home management and childcare tasks, especially during the last half of the 20th century, with more women engaged in the paid workforce. According to an article by Charlie Gillis, chronic absenteeism sucks between three and five billion dollars a year out of the economy, and parental duties being high on that list of why people miss work. In the article by May Mayfield and Mayfield, it states absenteeism has a dramatic impact on co-workers that are responsible for picking up duties of the absent employee. These impacts include overtime, delayed lunches, and increased workloads, which all add stress to the present employee. This article also states that even modest reductions in absenteeism rates can generate impressive cost savings to these organizations. For an example, Prudential Insurance Company saved $80,000 in annual absenteeism costs following the introduction of a backup daycare facility. Yes, absenteeism is vital. However, worker morale is also important to everyone while at work. An on-site facility would greatly boost all worker morale. In the article, Building ABCs for an On-Site Child Care Center by James M. Petty, it states that an on-site child care alleviates many employees' child care concerns that, that could potentially hinder productivity. 
It also states that these types of facilities provide employees the opportunity to visit their children during the day and take a break or have lunch with them. Then they come back to work feeling refreshed, relaxed, and rejuvenated, therefore putting forth more production in their work. In an article by 10 Brummelhus and Vanderlip, employees have, who have heavier demands will have less time and energy for their work therefore reducing their work outcome. If our organization assisted them in a work-life policy such as on-site childcare, employees would reciprocate those benefits received from employers and invest the resulting time and energy in their work. Studies performed in that article also confirm that organizational support increases organizational commitment and motivates employees to expend effort in their work. Worker morale is just as important as other points to the employees and to our organization. I hope that all of these main points will help you understand just how important family life is to many employees and how it really does affect their performance at work. As I stated, the on-site facility would aid in recruitment and retention, would drastically cut out absenteeism of those employees with children, and it would greatly boost worker morale. In order to remain competitive when getting and keeping those employees with children or those who may be planning a family, companies are finding it necessary to be actively involved in solving childcare conflicts. So according to James M. Petty, the question of building an on-site child care center becomes a question of how and when rather than a question of if. In 1971, Stridewhite Corporation opened its on-site daycare center in Roxbury, Massachusetts, and it was a pioneering achievement. According to McIntyre, Stridewhite is obviously a company already used to thinking about the needs of families, so it seemed natural fit, no pun intended. The center now employs daycare centers available to the entire community and Stride Right employees alike. The Stride Right company has discovered that many benefits that on-site daycare can offer an environment in which the worker can focus on work and work alone. That's the way it should be. Thank you.